you for well all, basically all the time since it came out um at the first it was not that easy for me i was used to armor and then suddenly red orchestra was a bit tough uh, of a change but um yeah uh, from that time on i've been playing it on a daily base basically and yeah keep on playing right thanks for that uh, sorry i had a small technical difficulty with the sound here so we're gonna do an uh around at the table here and uh, after that we're going to the uh, map selection where we're going to select a map for the Bolt Cup and uh, that's going to determine the first round of the tournament and uh, all the teams will be playing that map and I'm going to the last guy at the table here that's Lev and uh, Lev can you tell us something about yourself and your own unique experience in Red Orchestra? Alright well uh, I'm the new commentator here at uh, TWI Ladder and uh, I guess I got started in uh, Red Orchestra 1 and uh, more specifically the mod Darkest Hour. And I play with uh, Realism Unit, the 29th ID, and we've been around for about 10 years now, and I've been with them for about eight. Um, so we've been everywhere from Day of Defeat to Darkest Hour, now Red Orchestra 2 and Arma 3, and yeah, I've got a lot of experience in RO, RO2, and uh, hope to bring some of that experience and some of that knowledge over to the commentary. Yeah, I mean, uh, look into the uh, 29th infantry, it's an incredible clan. Uh, a lot of active members, a lot of... Uh, I think, think the structure works like a real army even. That uh, you got like platoons and such like that. That's, that's right, a uh, real army structure. We got um, we usually sit around 300 members, so quite large. It's uh, a good time. Yeah, really impressive. And um, So today we're going to select a map. And uh, before we're going to do that, we're going to give you a small uh, base of t taste. How it's going to look like and what maps we got for the countdown. And uh, let's have a look to that. Alright, so those were the maps. Um, these are the maps that we will play in Countdown, and um, one of them will be picked for the first round. If I could get your preference, guys, what would you like to see in the first round? What what Countdown map you think that will be great to play as an uh, as a first rounder? Well, I'd I think. I'm oh, sorry, you go ahead. No, go ahead, Admiral. You're <laughs> the Admiral here. <laughs> too kind. <laughs> well, I must say, I think Station is probably the most interesting and fun map to do especially for countdown because it's got so many different opportunities to go about it and you spawn rather close so it's really a sprint dash but dash at the right places because there's so many ways of getting to each position and uh, so many just go around them so it's really important as well to uh, just recognize where to go and a good team can uh, really really hold back an enemy tide yeah I mean I've played a couple times uh, or many times stationed before and it's a real uh, pain in the neck with the railroads and it can be so hard to uh, for a new team especially to uh, to get a hold of it you know there's the buildings on the right on the left and the right and the, the cars where you can go behind and it's a real uh, I think it's a real rough one in the first rounds um, what one you, do you like to see White Knight in the first rounds of the tournament yeah, uh, station would be nice it is it is quite a difficult map especially with bolt action rifles only um, but also apartments is uh, quite interesting because you have a lot of flanking, uh, yeah, flanking routes, and um, you, you really need to keep your team um, in the structure. Uh, some guys have to watch the, st the yeah the stairs. Some have to watch um, the front entrance, the back entrance, uh, the open ground, everything. And yeah, on those two maps, um, this is really rather difficult. Yeah. Do you have anything to add to the left left? What, was there another map you would like to see uh, in the first round plate? I myself would love to see Spartanovka. I think Spartanovka is one of those maps that when you play it uh, in territory in a big server you see a lot of machine guns, a lot of long range stuff, but 
seeing it 6v6 countdown with only bolt actions, I think you're going to see some uh, some good movement, and you're going to be able to see people uh, move around the map a lot easier than they normally would uh, with all the automatics. Yeah, I mean, one of those difficulties with countdowns is that, uh, that it's, it's very intense with the spawning. You're uh, quickly to the to the points, and uh, I think I guess for the new teams, the big, the more open maps would be better since they got more time to uh, to get a picture of what's going on. Like uh, s some closed maps, like apartments and station, which is like really fast-paced action on a quick turn. But uh, nonetheless, uh, they should all train for these maps and uh, prepare themselves. And uh, while we're at it, we're gonna pull the first map and uh, see what we're gonna get. Alright folks, believe it or not, we just pulled station. <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> so this is going to be the first round of the, the first map of the tournament, station. And, um, well, <laughs> we're always, always talking about the counter curse of the caster having it wrong, but this time we actually uh, have uh, something in the field here. So this will be the first round of the match station, and um, I'll be really curious how this is going to work out for those teams. Uh, talking about teams, we're going to have a small look to uh, all those teams who actually uh, signed up for the tournament. And, uh, well, let's have a look to those. So here we go, from top to down. The blue and the greys, the 29th Infantry Division, Armia Kujawa, the Black Sheeps, Union, Barbarians, Forgotten Honor, Mercenaries, NOD, Second Rangers, Saving Private Ryan, the Pirates, the French Devils, GFA and Strafbat. Uh, when I call these names, guys, does anybody recognize these names or played with them before? <laughs> well, I recognize a few there, and uh, I'm sure many of the uh, Lev and White Knight can also recognize a few here as well. <laughs> <laughs> well, for starters, the Black Sheeps is uh, one of mine, believe it or not. And uh, we only entered the tournament, it's our first time. And uh, basically, we're noobish. And uh, we're going to get a bit of a slap in the face, but I'm sure it'll be a very entertaining tournament <laughs> well begin to all I say and uh, since countdown is such a not often played mode we're gonna check it out what these teams gonna do you know it's uh, it's gonna be an interesting game type and we're gonna remove all these teams here because we're gonna do it live so we're gonna remove all the teams so we can actually have a proper selection here Meanwhile, Admiral, could you tell something us about the double el elimination mode and how that works a little bit? Yeah, sure. So the double elimination mode is practically you get two lives, in essence, with your clan. So when you're going against uh, two clans and you're fighting one uh, and you lose, you get a, you go into the sort of losers bracket and you get another chance of uh, you know, winning against another team and you still get to play in live stream. Now, the main difference is, I believe, between the lower brackets and the you know the main brackets for the teams who lose or win is the prize is different so if you're knocked out over the first round and then you're knocked down again uh, you're out but uh, you get a chance of winning five hundred dollars for the uh, first round yeah I guess the nice part of this bracket is that people will always um, survive in the tournaments instead of being knocked out so there's a really nice chance for beginners to come back um, I'm going to pull the teams out so we can uh, start making a bracket here. Alright, there we go. Let's pull the first team off. Alright, the first team is the blue and the grey from the 29th Infantry Division. And we're going to fill it out directly on the bracket. There we go, that's the first one. We're going to go to number two. I must mention that we don't have a complete bracket here with 16 teams, so it's going to be a little bit uneven. So two, the l two teams are going to get a free pass, as this is the only way to, uh, to do it in a bracket. 
and we're going to go to the next one. Alright, I got we've got a popular name here, White Knight, it's the Mercenaries. <laughs> <laughs> I think this is a rematch from the grudge match that just happened. <laughs> Are we gonna say Deja Fu? I hope not. <laughs> <laughs> So there we go, so there we go, that's the first brackets. Mercenaries against the um the blue and the grey from the twenty ninth infantry division. We're gonna go to number three. We got AJ as the second one, which is gonna be in a second bracket. And there we go, we got number four. Which are the Barbarians. Um, also a new team with the sound of that. I'm not sure what you guys think of uh, the Barbarians. Have you ever heard of those before? I shouldn't believe I have not, no. I guess that's some chance. <laughs> They've got a strong name though. I put, I've got a lot of faith in their name. Oh, right. yeah. They like that Barbarians. They're gonna uh, swarm the enemy team, aren't they? <laughs> I actually look a little bit around this barbarian team and seem to have a quite a few uh, familiar names. We got the Hell Soldiers who are part of it a little bit, a couple of members. So it seemed to be a little bit of on uh, mixed together of those teams. Okay, so the second one is uh, Saving Private Ryan, which is also a more newer team. <laughs> With a name like that, I'm sure. <laughs> Alright, and the second one in the pool. Will be Strafbot, aka PB. Alright, so this means guys we got three pools together already. It's the blue and the grey from 29th Infantry Division against the mercenaries, AJ against the barbarians, saving private Ryan's against Strafbot. So those are the three force pools. And now we're going to move to pool number four. Drum roll please. <laughs> <laughs> the anticipation is too much. Alright, we got here the French Devils. Which I think is also new to the grudge matches, or in general the latter. I haven't seen them in the last season of the grudge matches. I'm not sure if, if anybody heard of these before. I think they're a little bit of a multi-gaming community uh, clan. That actually plays with surfal games. Yes, I believe I've seen one on their servers actually, in French Devils, I've played them there before. Yes, relatively new I guess to the uh, tournaments, but um, definitely experienced players in them for sure. And the name like that. <laughs> <laughs> Always nice to see new teams in. So that's f the French Devil for uh, pool number four, and we're gonna pull the second one. There we go, the Black Sheeps. On the other side of the pool. Oh. <laughs> That means bracket number four is complete. There we go, second Rangers is the first one of the second pool. Which is a name we have seen before in the grudge match as well. Indeed.
All right, and the second of the pool. Is the Pirates the other team of the 29th Infantry Division? And that makes pool number 5 complete. You, uh, you could tell us something about the 29th Infantry Division Pirates, uh, Lev? What kind of team setup this is, and uh, is it a Europe team or a USA team? It's uh, it's the European guys. Uh, they might have a couple of the Americans in there, but um, very good uh, teamwork-wise. Uh, you're going to see some, some great strategies out of them, I think. Right. Would it be something like an, um, an uh, first-class team above the other, or is, or is it just separate people comparing to the other team of the 29th? It's just separate people. Uh, it's just, these just happen to be some of the Europeans that got together and made a team, and the blue and gray just happens to be a bunch of the Americans that got together and got and made a team. So, right. All right. So my new one is uh, Forgotten Honor, which is the top of the bracket. And there we go. We're gonna move to the other one. NOD, that's the other guy of the pool, or the other team. And I'm not correct, the White Knight NOD was a German team. I'm not sure if it's completely German. Can you, do you know that? Yeah, yeah. Um, right. It's a almost complete German group. Um, I think there might be some Austrian people, but uh, yeah, still, uh, almost 100% German. Okay, that's... Uh, it's a little bit rare to see, of course. Your own team is setting also an example of that, which is quite uh, a major team running around of uh, German people. Yeah. Um, most of us are German. We have some Austrian people, but also some... Um, <laughs> well, yeah, one of uh, the uh, guys is, that is in the rifle team is uh, from Finland and, yeah, ex-Finnish military, so... Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you don't want to mess around with him. All right, so the last uh, pool is we're going to get the uh, Union team in. And naturally, of course, because there's only one bracket left, the last team will be filled in automatically. And that's a GFA club. And if we're going to go down to the pub and get some beers and after this, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, this is the layout completely, guys. We got on top here uh, the 29 against the Mercenaries, then AG against Barbarians, Saving Pride Riot against Trothbutt, French Devils against Black Sheeps, Second Rangers against the 29 Pirates, Forgotten Other against NOD, and Union against GFA. And uh, two, two teams will get a pass, that those are the last one in the bracket. And uh, that's the way it is, because we don't have the nice number of 16. But um, that is it for the team layout. Um, I'm going to thank everybody for watching. And if you got questions, uh, please uh, yeah, use our support section or go to the website if you still want to view it again. If you go into the website itself, it will probably um, display something like this. And uh, this is the full emulation bracket, where you can see all the teams together. Um, that should be updated uh, later today or tomorrow, so then you can see in your own time what the brackets are. And furthermore, I'm going to say I wish you a lot of luck, all the teams. Um, from tomorrow, the new matches are going to be played in the first round. And uh, also the, these guys in the studio here are going to wish your teams the best of luck. Oh, absolutely. Thank you. We hope all do very well. So, um, before we end the show, who's going to win the whole thing? Oh, Quickly definitely. here. Definitely the Black Sheeps. <laughs> no doubt about that. We are just going to rule this tournament. All right. We are going to predict White Knight as the winner here of the whole <laughs> tournament. Um, 
Well, there are some very strong teams in the in that cup, so um, I. <sighs> I don't want to make this a commercial for the mercenary. So uh, um, there are very strong teams, and I'm yeah, I'm looking forward to um, have some good games. Yeah, and well, you want to see? Oh, I'm seen. Uh, seen I still remember one of those grudge battles. It was in the beginning of the grudge matches in the first season, and uh, I must say I've seen some really aggressive uh, playstyle by you guys, where you really uh, went as a card to the to the objective points. I've never seen that kind of aggression from the other teams yet. It's all a little bit, yes they did the job, but there was some really good aggression. I think there was an average of one minute per zone or something, which was really impressive. So uh, definitely looking forward to see you guys in the battlefield. And uh, Lev, for you, who's going to win the whole thing? It's tough. Uh, I've got my money on the, the blue and gray 29th team. All right. uh, those are the guys that played our last grudge match. They're really strong. But Forgotten Honor is a really strong team. Uh, I've seen a lot from them. Uh, I can never underestimate them ever since the last time the 29th played them. So I also got some support for them. Right. Well, for myself, I think um, it's really hard to say because of all these new teams getting in, where we no clue how they're gonna play, and could pull the most strangest thing off. But I'm gonna w w with the champions since they won. My bet will be um, GFA and a mercenary clan. So that's uh, my bet. And we're going to see later uh, how right we really were. And I'm going to thank you guys here for being with us. And once more, all the teams, good luck. And I'm going to say uh, see you next week when we're going to stream the matches. And uh, thank you guys for being with us. And uh, we're going to see you later. Yes, thank you. And bolts will be pulled back in this uh, deadly draw out. <laughs> <laughs> all right, have a good evening.